I should have studied more Japanese before I moved to Japan. <laughs> did I do something wrong? Um, did did I, I? I don't know. And I was very confused. <laughs> I felt really, really bad about it, actually. Sometimes I think back at that story and I just cringe so much. <laughs> should probably use some sort of headphones, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna use these ones. I wonder how they're gonna work for today. My voice will probably sound much clearer. So let's see. That's probably better. Okay, let's get started. Hello everyone. Thank you for coming and clicking on my video. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit of a story time, a little bit different than my usual videos, but I think you'll enjoy. So this is kind of a slightly embarrassing story about my first time coming to Japan. So I came to Japan in 2019. So I've been here for about three and a half years and I've been enjoying living in Japan. If you see my usual content, I usually film vlogs of my life in Japan. And yeah, it's very fun. I enjoy living here. But I remember that I have many stories from when I first came to Japan, many mm, kind of embarrassing, kind of funny, interesting uh, stories. So I've been kind of hesitating to make this video because I'm not sure how the response will be. But, and also I'm a little bit embarrassed, I guess. So, but it's been about two years or almost three years since it happened. So I think I can tell you guys about it now. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So when I landed in Japan, it was late at night and my coworker, my then coworker met me at the bus station and took me to this hotel. Ooh, this hotel was in Tokyo, about an hour and a half away from uh, Haneda and it was kind of close to my school so that's why i was there i was excited to be in japan so i barely slept on the plane there i think my flight was about 15 hours long but i could not i could not sleep at all i was just too excited to come i think i maybe slept one hour on the plane so when i came to japan i was very tired so i went to bed when i got there but then I think I woke up at like 5.30 or 6 a.m. because I wanted to just explore. And I also had work the next day right after landing. So I just had like a lot of nervous excitement and energy. So I woke up really early. I barely ate anything the day before because being on the plane, I didn't really like the plane food or anything. So I wanted to go ahead and find a convenience store. Japanese convenience stores are really amazing or so I've heard online so I decided to walk to the nearest one using my little Google Maps I got a little bit lost but I found one and I was ready to try all the Japanese food but I was searching throughout the store and I remember exactly what I bought I bought a matcha drink and I also bought uh, mitarashi dango the you know the three rice balls on a stick I'll link a photo somewhere here. So yeah, I got that. And then I remember I walked past some pamphlets and the pamphlets were just normal ones you see at the convenience store. But one caught my eye. It was very cute. It was this little anime character dressed up in like a family mart wear. And I was like, it's cute. So I picked it up and I thought to myself, oh, because uh, I had been studying Japanese, I knew a little bit of Japanese. I couldn't read the pamphlet at all, but I thought hmm, this would be a kind of a cute way to study Japanese. I wonder what this is about. So I picked it up and I put it in my pocket. And then I looked around some more, I got some food, and I started to make my way to the cashier. Uh, after I bring out my stuff, a middle-aged woman approached me and she said something to me in Japanese that I didn't understand. But I just kind of nodded my head and then 
I remember she started speaking to me very, very quickly, and I did not understand at all what she was saying. But I felt really awkward, and I was I was trying to understand, but I realized I I had no idea, and so I think because of all the awkwardness, I was like kind of slowly backing away, and then I remember she got quiet, and I just said like,、uh, "I'm sorry," <laughs> or "Sumasen," and I she stopped and looked at me, and.、Uh, I couldn't handle all the awkwardness, so I just got out of there as soon as I could. When I was walking back to the hotel, I couldn't stop thinking about the incident. Why was she speaking to me in full-on Japanese? Like I heard that Japanese people were shy, and that generally they don't talk to foreigners that much in Japanese. They'll usually try speaking English in Tokyo, right?、Um, because they don't think. Most foreigners know Japanese; they don't assume it. And so, I was wondering why did she think I could speak Japanese so well? And like, did I do something wrong?、Um, did did I, I? I don't know. And I was very confused. <laughs> I felt really, really bad about it actually. And so I just like, while I was walking home, I stopped at a park, and I it was a very beautiful park. There was a shrine nearby too. And I just debated all of my life choices, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. But I ended up just like really appreciating the park, and you know, I stopped thinking about that. And yeah, I was enjoying my my lunch or my food, and then I made my way back to the hotel. And、uh, I had Wi-Fi at the hotel, so I connected to Wi-Fi, and I wanted to check. The pamphlet I got, I remembered I had a pamphlet, so I had this pamphlet in my hands, and I had used Google Translate, and I realized my mistake as soon as it translated the first word. <laughs> the pamphlet was actually about information about working at the convenience store, <laughs> so it was for people who wanted to work there. <laughs> so I thought. I mean, I don't know because I didn't understand what she said, but I'm almost a hundred percent certain that she was talking to me because she thought I wanted a job at the convenience store. <laughs> And then I was like, "I'm a total idiot." <laughs> so, moral of the story is. If you come to another country and pick up a pamphlet, someone might talk to you, and maybe you accidentally picked up a job posting. <laughs> So、don't pick up random papers. Second lesson learned is I should have studied more Japanese before I moved to Japan. <laughs> But yeah, I guess that's part of what motivated me to get really serious about studying Japanese, though. And at this point now, I could comfortably have that conversation with someone. But man, sometimes I think back at that story and I just cringe so much. <laughs> so yeah, that's my awkward. Japanese, nah,、uh, Japanese story. My awkward, my bad Japanese story. Kind of embarrassing. But thank you for watching. If you like this style video, like story times, please let me know in the comments below. If you have ever been to another country and you couldn't、uh, communicate, or like you have a funny miscommunication or embarrassing story, please let me know in the comments. I really like reading those. I think they're funny. And yeah. And this is just trying out a new style today, so I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, and take care. Goodbye.